life is found to be caught up in storms so very often and you are not yourself when you are in a storm and you don't know what to do with it at those moments all your practices concepts ideas ideals all fall apart your devotion your love all the beautiful things you cherish in your life doesn't simply seem to be there or mean anything you are under the influence of a big storm and even when the storm has subsided the very memory of it disturbs you even more what do you do i think is helpful you sit and close your eyes meditate where is the meditation the mind is all over the place you feel like as though in a burning furnace and you don't know how to put off this fire and the more effort you make it to cool it down to put it down the more the fire comes the more the restlessness the more the agitation what do you do you read you listen you sit here and listen to the knowledge and that is not entering into the head because the mind is in a whirlpool of storm nothing enters into it this is the only basic problem in the universe there is no other problem you can attach it to 1000 causes reasons but the problem is how to free the life from this storm first thing to do you become aware of this at that moment the storm has already subsided no stop regretting oh it shouldn't have happened it may be cruciating pain but doesn't matter still it cannot destroy me it does not kill me i am here i am much much bigger than all these emotions commotions waves they all rise inside me in me and they can in no way destroy me let them be seeing with the broader perspective of one's self always we keep running away from small things pleasant sensation arises unpleasant sensation arises some good feelings arise not so good feelings arise and this is enough for you to become more feverish you start blaming yourself oh it shouldn't have happened to me in this storm what i should do what i want all the desires anxieties fears ideas all this feverishness loosens their grip on you see not one storm can be there for all time it is impossible it is the nature waves come and for no reason a turmoil is created in the mind when your mind cools down and you experience that that cool inner cool soft and delicate aspect of yourself a big relief comes and you have had this experience in life your mind is like a wind viral wind the, the viral wind of mind subsiding cooling down that is your true nature that is love everybody in the world faces these crises personality clashes problems relationship problems worry about the future and what not insecurity what i will do in my life 
days are passing by whether i am in the right place or not will i get people right people around me all sorts of confusions jealousy anger hatred but a person with the life jacket is saved rise right above we should put on the life jacket blow it up keep it well prepared being immortal is looking at your infinite nature all prophets have already said die before the death die when you are still alive you are looking for perfection creates imperfection inside you you want perfection perfection what has happened you have become imperfect you want peace but you have become restless wanting peace you want everybody to be peaceful situation to be peaceful but you have created a big turmoil inside you how is it possible peace comes from within not from without if you are peaceful your surrounding becomes peaceful your situation becomes peaceful people around you become peaceful you are the center of this universe whom you are looking to anywhere else anybody else any other setup any other place i tell you wherever you go you will carry your own mind and you wherever you go you will create your own same storms the storms rise in me and they never stay in me forever they subside in me too now is this how i got the clue now i thought i am peaceful only when the storms are gone then i thought only then i am blue if the ocean thinks i am blue and nice only when there is no storm it's mistaken it says it even when the storms are there i have a still deep i have still ocean i got it now it is Every storm that has come into your life has widened your horizon has made you deep and more powerful Every storm has destroyed some smallness in you something in you that has been very small Jeeva you think you are an individual self i like with likes and dislikes and a storm comes in your life whether you like it or not it lashes on you and pulls you out of your likes and dislikes this has happened and it is happening every storm is a blessing it cuts you it destroys you it finishes you off you cry and if you are knowledgeable you come you don't cry you will laugh event is the same you laugh at it oh this is it very good because you are you know you are nature you are infinite nature not a limited personality the limited like limit you are not a worm but you are the universe